What up, everybody? Kumusta kayo lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. My name's PJ. There's Marky Mark with the scarf, and we got a special guest, Ian from SEC. So, what up, man? Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for having me. All right, Marky Mark, let's get started. What can we talk about today? Oh, there's a lot of things that happened. Just the first week of NBA, it's back. It's been so good to watch. Mm -hmm. I'm just very happy that we get to see more basketball and, and I started playing a lot more basketball too. But let's go straight to what has been the most surprising start in the NBA team, team in general. I've seen a couple, I don't want to mention them, Lakers. I mean, have you been surprised? I mean, disappointing in terms of how they started. Uh, this, they were 0-3 and three last week. Uh, the Celtics were 1-2. and two, And uh, the Thunder were 0-3 and three last week. They lost to the Kings. Who's, who, uh, which one of those teams were you guys mostly disappointed with to see? in terms of performance. Mm -hmm. I guess, Ian, you can start. Um, out of those three, I would say the, the Thunders. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll say why in a second, but I want to talk about Lakers and Celtics for a bit. Mm -hmm. um, people can egg on them easily and say, oh, I'm disappointed their Lakers is what? One of three. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they lost a couple of teams, like Blazers, the Spurs, and the Thunder. I mean, yeah. mm -hmm. that's, I mean, Houston, they lost to Houston in that mm -hmm. kind of very messy right? game. Mm -hmm. But it's, yeah, like, do we quickly judge them in terms of, oh, like, they're not going to make the playoffs and LeBron might miss the playoffs this year? Right. Mm -hmm. Is that? Well, like, LeBron, obviously, he's coming from uh, another team. Mm -hmm. uh, coming to the Lakers, and all these guys are young, and he hasn't been in a team that young, I would say, since. Since he came into the league. Since he was yeah. the youngest player in right. his team, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's going to take time for them to gel, obviously. And same thing with the Celtics uh, last year. Um, Irving was gone for the... The playoffs. Like most, yeah. most, of the, most of the... Even the playoffs. Most of the gone, year. Yeah. And yeah. they didn't have Gordon Hayward. So it's going to take time for them to get better. But I think it's the Thunder. I, obviously, they lost to the Golden State Warriors. They mm -hmm. didn't have Westbrook. Mm -hmm. But there's no reason why they can't beat a team like the Clippers. Mm -hmm. And there's really the no Kings, reason I why. Mean, the Kings, yeah, I watched that game. Mm -hmm. they just, exactly. yeah. It's hard to, I mean, it's hard to kind of judge them quickly by just a just few games. But you can kind of make an excuse for a team like Lakers and, and Celtics because they had the player like LeBron just came in and just, and a bunch of new players like uh, JaVale. Lance, Michael Beasley. So they had a bunch of new different faces in their team and they're trying to figure it out. Maybe it's also the same we can apply to Boston. Gordon wasn't really there for, throughout the whole year yeah. and Kyrie wasn't there as well. And so they have this new kind of pieces being integrated into what worked well last year and trying to see if we can get the same results. So I guess we can make the same excuse that you like you're mentioning. Mm -hmm. But about the Thunder, like I thought, you know, everyone thinks that without Melo, he should have been better. But now do we say the same thing? Like, they actually needed Melo, or did they? They're actually a better team without Melo. Mm. Kind of. What, what's your thought, PJ? Did you think that out of all the three teams, who has been the more disappointing start into the season? I think. Well, mine, I guess, first would be Celtics, and then second would be Lakers. Lakers, because obviously I had a prediction again last episode when I said Lakers will beat Houston and later on in the yeah. playoffs. So I have a big bet with Lakers. Yeah. And obviously the two games where they could have won against Blazers the first game and the Spurs, mm -hmm. like, Lake, like LeBron the choked yeah. in terms of the free throw, like he could have closed it, closed it out. So that yeah. was, a, yeah, they that was another won. game. That's disappointing. And then yeah. Blazers, like that was the first, like it was just the first time you're gonna come out. And it was, mm -hmm. it was a close game too, like, but mm -hmm. Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum is as, they, as another beast in really itself, well. right? They played at home, so mm -hmm. disadvantage for the Lakers. So you can kind of give them like a pass, like they'll still work it out. But mm -hmm. Celtics with Kyrie, when you think of Kyrie and Hayward coming back, you're like mm -hmm. superstars. And mm -hmm. you kind of think in your head that they're going to be, and especially with all the social media hype and everything, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, mm -hmm. we're, we're strong, we're never going to mm -hmm. separate. But now that question's in your head whether Celtics are better without Kyrie. Mm -hmm. Like, I know that question's been going around a lot. Mm -hmm. And sometimes Boston does look, like, last year Boston looked way better with, like, the fluid, the fluidity of their offense and stuff mm -hmm. without those two. Yeah. But I really want Celtics, like, I love Kyrie and I, I really root for Celtics. <laughs> And I kind of wanted the, to win them to win against the Raps. <laughs> yeah, that was a good game. But that was a I mean, good that, game too. So, so I guess do you think it was um, didn't it wasn't 
that Boston was just not as good of a team as Raptor is right now? Or do you think that this is kind of what we're going to see as a, in, in any games that they face later on? Like, Raptor's going to get the edge of them. Do you feel like that's kind of how we're going to see it? Or this is too early to judge in terms of their matchup? Because this could be a prediction of like yeah, Eastern, Eastern Conference, Conference Finals. Finals yeah. Yeah. Like, do you guys feel like that game that we watched recently, the Raptors against the Celtics, does that give us a good indication of what it could have? Because it was a really close game. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, um, both teams played well. Kawhi, Lowry played well. On the, the other end, Jason Tatum played well. So is this something that we're going to see in the future? Can predict? Do you think it's going to be the same result with the Raptors winning? I'd love for it to be for the games to play out like that. If they yeah. go in a series, mm-hmm. uh, back and forth, lead changes mm-hmm. throughout the entire game. But mm-hmm. who knows with the Celtics, once they click, it's going to be really scary, right? Yeah. That's true. And I hope there's more double blocks to come. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was just a game, game to watch from yeah. here and then on. I mean, um, so I guess for the Lakers right now, because it's too early to predict. Uh, yeah. What are your thoughts about them? Like, do you think that they're going to kind of carry on mentally together? Because, like, they've already broken down so early. I mean, two suspensions, Rondo, Brandon Ingram, just for a simple kind of play. Do you think that the immaturity of the team is going to affect their chances of being in the playoffs? I don't think so. I think LeBron... LeBron will, I don't know, I think it's a different mental game for LeBron now Mm -hmm. because he's in a new locker room with other pieces. And again, it's really early to tell, but I do believe that LeBron's leadership is different. And especially with, it's better that it happened early on in the season, this Rondo stuff and all this Brandon Ingram, so that they could figure out and focus on later on in Mm -hmm. the season. And I think Lakers are going to be a problem. I think, they, I think they have the tools, and I think once everyone clicks, same with the Celtics. But I'm interested in hearing what you, you didn't really say who you thought was the, yeah. the most disappointing to you. Well, my take is, like, if Thunder doesn't get it together this year, like, they have, they have to restart. But, I mean, how? You have Westbrook on the contract, and you have Paul George. So it's, I mean, you can also give an excuse to them that Westbrook just came back from an injury. So... To me, Thunder do need to pick it up. It's just with the West, it's really if you down if you're if you have a really bad start in the West, it's so hard to get back into the playoffs because everyone is so good. And, mm. and so if you're down, if you're off to a really bad start, you need to pick it up quick. It's gonna be mm. tough for the Thunder too. The next game, they're facing mm-hmm. the Celtics. Yeah, no. they have a bunch of tough, tough fun. matchups for them. Like right now, they have Celtics and they have a bunch in line as well. Whereas, uh, I mean, the Lakers have a kind of easier schedule coming in, so they can kind of see if they can figure things out.